Good evening, and welcome to the 57th annual Rotary Youth Services Benefit Concert. My name is Laura Bach, and I'm currently serving as the 104th president of the Fairboat Rotary Club. One of the perks of being the president is getting to be the MC for tonight's concert. Proceeds from your tickets tonight go to the Fairboat Rotary Youth Services, and each year our club awards scholarships for music, theater, and visual arts students. And we'll hear more about those scholarships and the winners of the past awards in just a bit. The first performance tonight is from the Faribault High School Concert Choir under the direction of Ben Bopre. Mr. Bopre is eager to be back for his second year in the Faribault High School Music Department. In his eighth year of teaching, he has also taught choir and general music in Medford and St. Francis, Minnesota. Ben is originally from Maple Grove and graduated from Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts in K-12 Music Education. He currently resides in Oatana with his wife, Caitlin, and his daughter, Adeline. In his free time, Ben enjoys being outside, watching baseball, reading, projects around the house, and most importantly, spending time with his family. Please welcome the Faribault High School Concert Choir.
Thank you for being here this evening and supporting all the marvelous things that our students in the Fairville High School Music Program do. Um, of course, you see 40 or so of our, our singers up on stage, but you didn't know when you walked into the PAC tonight that you have joined our ranks and we're recruiting you to sing with us for this next piece. So. A little bit of uh, a bonus for you, at least in my opinion tonight. Uh, I also look forward to our student musicians out in the audience, our band and orchestra folks, helping lead the way with this. Preferably not on your instruments. I love your instruments, but uh, we're going to try to stick to singing here. So um, you will hear a chorus in the song. It's entitled One Foot Slash Lead With Love. Um, you'll hear a chorus repeated a few times right away. We will then break into this call and response with um, with some of the sections of our choir, you can then rejoin us when you hear that chorus. If you feel so inclined as well to uh, join us with some snaps, let the music move you, please do, by all means, we're looking forward to it. So, trying to break the mold a little bit here, thanks for being a part of our performance night, and thank you for your support of our music program. That's a one foot from the other and me with a foot. One foot from the other and me with a foot. a one foot from the other and me with a foot. One foot from the other and me with a foot. a one foot from the other and me with a
I have been attending these concerts for years and I have never seen anything like that. So that was really fun. Great job to the concert choir. Accompanying the concert choir earlier was um, Dr. Martha Brown. And Martha is an author, a consultant, a researcher, teacher, and advocate for restorative justice. She also serves as a Faribault Rotarian alongside of me. And she's the organizer of tonight's event, uh, making sure that every detail was covered. So please join me in welcoming Martha to the podium, and she's gonna talk to you a little bit about our past STRIVE recipients. <laughs> Scholarship recipients, not STRIVE. That's, that's coming later in the show, don't worry. Come on out, yep. That's okay, I told them how great you were. <laughs> hey. Good evening. Thank you all so much for coming out to support Rotary Youth Services projects and our awesome young Falcon musicians. Each year, music and theater teachers nominate students to receive the Rotary Music and Theater Scholarship Award. These scholarships allow students to choose how to spend them so that they can do whatever they need, whenever they want to improve their skills and enhance their experiences with music and theater. For example, last year, Oliver Shoup, who sings in the concert choir, put his 2022 scholarship toward piano lessons. And we are secretly hoping that he will accompany the concert choir during his senior year. Are, are, are your parents here? Oliver, did they hear that? Okay. Johnny Tutewal, also in the choir, put his 2022 scholarship towards the purchase of a bass clarinet, which he will be playing later this evening in the wind ensemble. Before I introduce the 2023 scholarship awardees, I want to apologize that no students were nominated from the band last year. We are confident that under Mr. Dussel's excellent leadership, that band will be represented in this coming year's awards. This year's awardees are also using their scholarships for voice and music lessons, theater camps, and to purchase their own instruments. So feel free to meet with them after the performance tonight and talk to them about their scholarships. All right, I would like to introduce them now, so please hold your applause to the end. Our awardees from the theater department, under the direction of Mr. Paul Johnson, are Makia Bauer and Lucy Ecker. From orchestra, under the direction of Mr. Michael Sloan, James Silver, and Lynn Wynn. Where's Lynn? There she is. Lynn is carrying her shiny new violin that she used her scholarship to help purchase, and James has been working hard on lessons. From choir, under the direction of Mr. Ben Beaupre, Meredith Deco, and Anna Wester. are in the all-around category. These are the students who pretty much do it all. You've already seen our awardees tonight on stage, one playing the violin and the other singing from the soprano section. You may also recognize them from last year's musical, Oklahoma. Our all-around awardees are Allison Norton and Nora Gordon. amazing young people who work so hard and are so very talented. So now let's give more tons of applause to our fabulous Rotary Music and Theater Scholarship Awardees for 2023. I will just talk over the noise a little bit so we can keep our evening moving. Our next group of performers will be the Faribault High School Philharmonic Orchestra, directed by Michael Sloan. Born in 
and raised in the Philadelphia area, Mr. Sloan began playing trumpet in the elementary band, and after acquiring a bass in eighth grade, he studied bass through his time at the Great Valley High School in Maven, Pennsylvania. And a few highlights of his career are, he served active duty in the US Coast Guard in Honolulu, Hawaii, and Alaska. Yep, that's right, that deserves the point. worked for Celebrity, Norwegian Cruise Lines, and Cunard Cruise Lines. He began studying music at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia. Later, he earned a Bachelor's of Science in Music Education from Westchester University, Pennsylvania. While living in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia area, he played in several area orchestras, gaining substantial experience in an orchestra setting. He resides in Dodge County with his family, a dog, cats, and chickens. His hobbies are working on old cars and playing any kind of music. One highlight of teaching in Faribault is watching the students find that magical moment when they're making beautiful music. Please join me in welcoming the Faribault High School Philharmonic Orchestra to the stage.
just want to remark and say thank you to uh, Jay Zabel and Troy Temple. I'm not sure who's all back there, but our sound and light men, we wouldn't be able to be seen without them helping us out. So thank you. Thank you, parents, for uh, having your student involved in this concert. And uh, it's really a privilege to get some of the money they had to buy these instruments or music lessons or music camps. Um, they're just, it's invaluable um, to have that resource from the Rotary Club. So thank you, Rotary Club, for those of you that uh, put this event on. So our last song is Tonight from West Side Story. talk about Rotary. Besides the scholarships that we've heard about tonight, Faribault Rotary Youth Services also provides scholarships to high school seniors through a program called STRIVE. STRIVE stands for students taking a renewed interest in the value of education. Currently there are 44 seniors participating in our STRIVE program. 
We welcome any seniors who are still interested to join us at our next meeting on Wednesday, October 25th. If you act now, you'll be eligible to apply for scholarships in the spring. We do meet at 7 a.m. sharp over at South Central College in their large conference room, but Rotarians provide donuts, juice, and other breakfast snacks, so it's probably, hopefully, worth your while. The final cause I want to mention tonight is our Rotary Camp. Youth and families have been enjoying the camp for over 60 years now. Your program tells you a little bit about the amenities that can be found there. Hopefully you've had the opportunity to visit our camp and had a great experience there at least once. And we hope to see you there again very soon. There are plenty of Rotarians in the audience tonight. So please, after the concert, if you have any questions about Rotary, uh, feel free to ask any of us. Look for the blue polo shirts or the yellow Rotary t-shirts or perhaps someone wearing a Rotary pin. It's kind of dark out there, but if the Rotarians are in the audience and they want to stand up for just a second, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Wrapping up our performance tonight will be the Faribault High School Wind Ensemble, directed by Andrew Dussel. Mr. Dussel holds a master's degree in music education from Northern State University and a bachelor's degree in music education from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. He's had the pleasure of working as an instrumental music director at various schools, encompassing the elementary through high school age ranges over the past decade. Past groups he has performed with include the Pizzazz, Jazz, Dance, and Swing Band, the Northern Symphony Orchestra, Long Prairie Orchestra, Wadena and Deer Creek Symphony Band, the Blue Stars Drum and Bugle Corp, and the official Minnesota Vikings Drum Line, among others. Mr. Dussel is also an active member within the Minnesota Marching Arts community. Over time, he has contributed to groups that have become top competitors, resulting in a cumulative eight national medalist placements and 18 state championships titles in various competitive circuits. He's currently leading the Falcon Band, the Wind Ensemble, and percussion classes at Faribault High School for the 2023 and 2024 school year. Please welcome the Faribault High School Wind Ensemble.
just say a couple brief things before we start our final piece here. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and supporting these fantastic students up here on this stage. Um, it, it takes a lot of time and effort and commitment on not just their part, but all of your parts as well. And we thank you for sharing your students with us and uh, keeping them engaged with the activity that they love and uh, the, with the people that they, they love to hang with and make music with. Um, thank you so much to the Rotary Club for supporting these students as well. Um, this is a fantastic event. We thank you for putting it on with us. And of course, thank you, for, uh, thank you to the administration who supports school music in this way. Uh, with us. Uh, this is a fantastic supportive community, so we appreciate you all very much. Um, we're going to play our final piece uh, a little bit more, uh, slightly more towards the, the holiday spirit coming up. A um, little, little darker, hence the name Dark Heart. So please enjoy. <laughs>
Well, on behalf of Fairmont Rotary Youth Services and the Rotary Club, I want to thank you all for supporting our students tonight. Uh, it's so important to support them when they're participating in their sports and their music and their extracurricular activities. Um, so thank you to parents and grandparents and family members and neighbors and everybody who came out to show your support. Um, they deserve it because they're pretty great. So with that, back to my notes. Thanks for purchasing a ticket and supporting our program and showing up. With that, safe travels and have a good night.